I'm sorry. I know this is last minute. I... We, we can't get married tomorrow. Nora, I know that you're under a lot of stress, and I didn't help matters by saying what I said about Matthew, but now I understand that you and Bo have to do as you see fit regarding your son. No, I, I know how much you care about Matthew, and I know that you're just as worried and frustrated about all of this as we are, uh, but I still can't marry you tomorrow. Nora, if this is not about the argument that the three of us had yesterday, why are you calling off the wedding? Matthew's suing us. Us, Bo and me. He's suing us. What? He's suing us for the right to consent to his own surgery. So I can't get married with all of this going on. I can't. I'm so sorry. I never wanted it to come to this, you I know, know that. I know, I know, I know, but you know, here we are. All right, we'll, we'll reschedule if we have to, and tomorrow we'll go to court and start talking some sense into the judge. No, the hearing date hasn't been set yet. Well, if you don't have to be in court tomorrow, why can't we get married? My son is suing me. I know, but not tomorrow. But he's so angry, he might not even show. Oh, hmm? do you think that you could talk to Matthew and get him to, you know, hold off for a day? Yeah, of course, of course. All right, he'll be there. Nora, if you have to go through this lawsuit, I want to go through it with you, but I want to do it as your husband. Clint, I want our wedding day to be happy. I want, I want everyone to be happy there. That's just not going to happen with all of this going on. Everybody's going to be running off to their corners, and they're going to be fuming and texting their lawyers. And it's, it's just not how I envisioned it. On the other hand, yeah. Matthew may see things in a different light. At a wedding, happy occasions often bring families back together. Am I right? Yeah, you're Am right. Am I? Yeah, okay. So... Are we on? We're on. Okay. <laughs> Bo, can you have your tux ready? Yep. All right. You bringing a date? No. Well, it doesn't matter. You'll probably meet somebody at the wedding. <laughs> yeah. Could you excuse me one second? Hey, boss. Can you meet me at the hospital parking garage? What, now? If you're not too busy. No, I'll be right there. I gotta go. Oh. You're gonna come to the party tonight, right? Yeah, well, I hope so. He's the best man. <laughs> of course. Good. I'll be there. Now that it's just us, what's going on? What do you mean? I mean, I know this lawsuit is upsetting, very serious, but I'm thinking that it might also be convenient. Convenient how? Well, I was just thinking you were using it as an excuse to postpone the wedding. Am I right? Oh, come on, Clinton. You know I'm not much of a multitasker. Our wedding is a task? No, come, no, come on. I mean, all I can think about is this lawsuit and Matthew, and if he wins and he chooses to have this surgery, he could die. And I'm supposed to be out shopping for shoes and building a trousseau, and oh my God. We're going to Bermuda. Nora, Bermuda is not going to go anywhere, and if this wedding is just another item on your never-ending list of things to do, by all means, let's call it off, okay? It is supposed to be fun, romantic, sacred, but it takes a little focus. Oh, no, I just, I'm a long short supply about that. All right, then I will start making the calls. What? I'm going to tell people that we're putting this whole thing on hold. Wait, we can't do that to Vicky and Charlie. Oh, oh my God. 
We can't do this, Clint. We can't do this. No, we can't no, no, do Nora. This. You don't go through with the wedding simply because your names are already on the. Well, I just, I can't even. I can make a decision. Well, then, about by this right all now. means, let's call it off, okay? And once the lawsuit is resolved, we can reschedule. Unless, of course, you're not ready to get married, and then we can just pull it off the table. Because if you're not ready, I'm not ready. This isn't really going to be an answer, okay? I can't stop thinking about this lawsuit. And what would happen if Taya wins? And then Matthew chooses this operation, and something goes wrong. I mean, you think he's unhappy now? I mean, now he's in a chair, and he can, he can move around, and he can play the piano, and he can... He has a life. But if he has this operation, and something goes wrong, and he ends up being a quadriplegic, Unable to move, I mean, maybe just move his tongue or roll his eyes or. Or if he, or if he dies on the table. I understand. Stop, please. Stop. Now, this is my fault. Since I am the one who brought Dr. Evans to town, all right? So I'm gonna fix it. How? I'll pay him double his rate not to do the surgery. You'd do that? Nora, I would do anything to make you happy, and I want you to know that. You don't know where Stacy... You can't do that, Clint. Yes, I can. <laughs> I paid him to come here. I can pay him to go away. No, you can't. And as much as I appreciate the thought, it is highly unethical. And it could backfire. If Matthew wins the case, and he wants the surgery, and Evans refuses, we're powerless to stop him from going and finding another doctor. And if Evans really is the top of his field, and he finds some other doctor, we've just multiplied our risk. God, Nora, you're right. I should buy off the judge. What? I was hoping to get a smile out of that one, all right? <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. Please, try not to worry. Nora, I want to take care of you. I want to be good to you. Well, I want to be good to you. Okay. Mom? Hi, sweetheart. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. I just talked to Matthew. Any chance he's going to cancel this lawsuit? Sorry. But I did convince him to come tonight. He wasn't going to come? Mom, he's a kid. He thinks you're mad at him. I am mad at him. But you but still I... love him, which is exactly what I told him. So he's coming. Good. Look, I know you guys are going through a horrible time right now. But I really think it's going to be okay. <sighs> he thinks the surgery is a ticket back to his old life. I don't think anything can give him that. Well, you know what? We don't need to talk about that tonight. Tonight, we celebrate. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I just haven't been sleeping well lately. You know you don't have to do this. Do what? Marry Clint. Why in the world would you say that? I know I'm an 